Hello everyone, so today quick video on a function that is quite useful, an R function called str. I guess it stands for structure. Uh, it's a very useful function because it allows you to look into the structure of uh, your objects. So sometimes you want to access a certain object using the dollar function, the dollar sign function, uh, but you don't know exactly how the these objects are called right so for example uh, if you write empty cars dollar mpg you're going to access the mpg column of empty cars but this is true for data sets but it's true for any kind of uh, object that is similar to a list so i prepared a little demonstration to show you how this works um, so I will load the empty cars dataset. So I, I've prepared some bits and pieces of code here and there. Um, if you look at the empty cars dataset, in case you're not familiar with it, um, it's a dataset with uh, around 30 lines or something uh, with information on cars. So I'm not really into cars, but it's a dataset that is just as good as any other to illustrate this function. So if you want to access, say, the MPG miles per gallon, colon of empty cars, you can write empty cars dollar mpg, right? So that should be fairly familiar if, you, if you've taken any introductory R course. This is one of the very first functions um, that you will uh, learn about. So, however, um, what about other attributes? So imagine that I write str empty cars. So in this particular case, I will only see the list a list of columns which can quite be, be quite useful uh, it takes less space or as just as much as writing head but you do see a bit more information uh, so str empty cars gives you what attributes of your data set you can access so in this case only um, other columns however let's suppose that now uh, i group this data set okay let's suppose that i group it by Sill, and let's. Uh, I don't think I've executed the line. Now I did. Um, so if I look at empty cars two, I don't see a real difference. I only see this line over here that tells me that uh, my data set has been grouped by Sill. Uh, but if now I take a look at str empty cars two, I see that I have some more information. Not only do I have the columns. I now have an attribute groups that uh, is that consists of the uh, well of the indices of the rows rather of the rows of my groups. So, for example, if I write attribute empty cars to groups, I get uh, the different groups. So, the, yeah, the different groups um, or rather the different levels of seal by which my data set has been grouped. So, four, six, and eight. Um, I could also write something like, uh, if you see, I have so my str empty cars, right? I now have uh, this attribute, and apparently I could access not only this uh, seal, because I see a dollar here, so let's try that. Let's try it. So if I write seal, I do get 468, but apparently I can also access a dot rows attribute or colon or list. Let's try that. Dot rows. I might need quotation marks. No. So this gives me the rows that are inside each group. So it's quite useful and it's not something that you would necessarily um, easily find unless you use this str function. So it can this can be quite useful to get to get the rows, the indices um, of the rows that are inside each group, especially, you know, if you're doing cross-validation, for example, um, and you want to uh, save the indices of the different splits, this could be uh, an interesting way to do it. Um, now, let's try something else. I, that, that's really the, the key message of this video, so you can turn off and, and watch cat videos if you want. But let, let's do another example, um, if you bear a bit with me. So let's estimate this uh, very simple linear model, linear regression. Um, if I take a look at model empty cars, uh, you know, I have some information on the coefficients that they, or the weights um, that have been um, estimated. Um, I can, of course, use the summary function. 
uh, but to you know to have this summary statistics. But what if I want to look a bit into detail? What if I want to access a particular field or a particular attribute of this model? So let me write STCars. Uh, str sorry str model empty cars there we are uh, and now i see that i have quite the list of of attributes and of uh, elements that i can access so um if you want for example the uh, names right the names of the uh, coefficients well i see here that i can access my coefficients attribute and using the attribute function with the names uh, string option, I guess, I can access the names of my columns. So let's go with um, attributes, model, empty cars, coefficients, names. And now I have the names of my columns. So this again can be quite useful uh, if you want to build your own summary, summary table, for example. Um, it can be quite useful to know about, about this str function. Uh, you can really explore, keep exploring, uh, for example, terms um, and then variables. I would get my variables. I would get my factors over here. Um, I can get, I guess this is the, um, I guess what happens under the hood is that uh, R does a QR decomposition um, of your design matrix and then I guess it runs some kind of alg super optimized algorithm to, to estimate the model. So I guess this is the QR decomposition. So, you know, let's take a look. Uh, the underlying QR decomposition, model empty cars QR. Uh, so I guess you get the matrix, right? And you get your, your, uh, your vector. So you get a lot of information that you wouldn't normally uh, have access to. So it is quite useful function. If you are confronted with an object, can be a model. Uh, it can be uh, if you load some some weird, you know, sometimes some JSON files with a lot of, um, you know, with a, with, with a lot of a list of lists, etc., with a lot of nested lists. It can be quite interesting to use this str function because it will really allow you to to navigate um, these objects. I. I don't remember, but I think there is a package um, that comes with some helper function, some helper functions like that, um, that allow you as well to to navigate complex objects. But I I really cannot remember. So if if you do think, if you think that you know what I'm talking about, please please let me know because I would like really to explore this package. I don't remember if it's a full blown package or if it, or if it's a function of some tidyverse package. I don't remember for sure. So um, well. Um, if you if you happen to remember, please let me know because I yeah I would like to explore that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and well uh, see you next time.